Right guys, so we're gonna be testing the brand new Callaway drivers. We've got two new drivers for the Callaway family. We've got the Callaway Great Big Bertha, old name, brand new driver, and the Callaway Big Bertha Alpha Double Black Diamond 816. It's the brand new Double Black Diamond. I'm gonna be testing them both on separate reviews. I'm gonna start off with the Great Big Bertha. So old name, brand new driver. Great Big Bertha was a driver that dominated when the big size heads came out originally. And I think they're probably trying to bring that name a little bit back into the, into the game. Trying to bring that dominance of maybe back into the game a little bit. The way you can change, tell the difference between the two drivers, even with the head cover on, Great Big Bertha, silver stripes and silver writing, and the Alpha's got black stripes, black writing. They've stuck with the kind of boxing glove effect head cover. I'm starting to get used to those a little bit more now. Kind of everyone's doing them, aren't they, really? So I suppose bulk buy and all that. So Callaway Big Bertha, Great Big Bertha. Um, this looks ridiculously amazing from the looks-wise. On a shelf, that looks like, yeah, you know what? I need to hit that golf club because it kind of looks a bit almost like it's been comics, almost cartooned. The bottom of the golf club is really like a big lightning strike hitting the back of it. Really crazy effects along the back. They've got perimeter weighting. So there's a weight here along the back with perimeter weighting so you can move this weight to a draw bias all the way to a fade or neutral. Change the loft as always and go up, up. I think it's two degrees, is it? You can go up, up two and down one. Black top of the head with the normal Callaway crown and then quite a silver face, which I think behind the ball looks awesome. Should we give it a whack? I'll tell you a bit more about it in a moment then we'll test the Alpha as well separately. Looks great behind the ball. I've got it on GC2, real golf balls. Let's give it a wallop, see what it does. So I've got this set in neutral at the moment. I wouldn't hate to put it in draw, and I'd probably maybe even put it in fade eventually. Well, that's a quite an impressive start. <laughs> start. I'll show you some data towards the end as well, but 309 total distance, 284 carry. I'll show you a lot more data towards the end, like I say. I've set it to 10 degrees as well, because my normal driver at the moment is 9.9. .9. Thought it's only fair to set it in the same loft as that. I've got this in a speed of 665 extra stiff shaft. That was nice. What I like about it behind the ball, with the silver head, silver face, sorry, black head, it kind of makes the loft look more. Even though it's not, it's still 10 degrees, but it stands out the loft. And that, for me, makes it look more, more inviting, more generous to hit. And because of that, I want to hit it again. What a nice flight that has got. Same shot. Same distance, a little bit further. That is, that is big. That's up there. That is definitely up there. I'm going to show you some spin numbers, like I said, towards the end. Um, I think the advantage with the weight is you can adjust it, you know, for different golfers. If you are hitting a shot that maybe leak a bit to the right, move that over to the heel to make that toe move over faster. It's going to make a small difference. I've got it almost central right behind the centre spot. You know what, the last thing I do like about this, I don't, I'll show you some images of this. The Callaway symbol on the toe is actually engraved in. That's a really smart look, that. It's actually engraved. I haven't just noticed that. It's actually engraved into the head it's got the fast ball speed it's got this rib cage along the bottom i quite like it let's hit a few more well there are three very similar golf shots my simulator's just slowed down a bit there so bear with Sorry about my simulator just slowed down a bit, but best hit yet, 316. I'm going to go two more and I'll show you the numbers so we can see all of the data towards the end. I'm just going to hit a couple more. What, I like, what I'm interested about this driver is this is not particularly the one that's suited to the most adjustability. The Alpha Double Black Diamond 816, that's got more features to it, so stay tuned for that review as well. And I've got a couple of the, well, I've got the Fairway Woods to match these drivers as well, which I'm going to test in, on their own reviews. That flight is lovely. It just seems to be hit. Just 
smashed up there. Right, let's have a look at some numbers. I'm going to hit one more, and then we'll see what the, the, uh, the great big berth has done after those few shots. Okay, so there's the shots, five shots. All similar shapes, all similar flights. Like I say, I'd, I'd generally hit with a draw shape anyway, so maybe I've got a bit more room in the end there where I could shove that weight even more into the, what would be the toe to neutralise it or for me fade it more. Um, right, shall we have a look? That was mightily impressive. It was. And I must admit, I don't think this on paper is the one that potentially should suit me more. I think maybe the, the double black diamond might suit me better, so stay tuned definitely for that review. Um, this is kind of the one that would, I don't know, maybe they cover the, the wider spectrum of players. Uh, it's not got the same minute adjustability as the double black diamond. It's kind of simpler adjustability. That may, that may well, well work. Right. Club S speed, 114. Very good. Now, it is a decent length shaft. It, I feels, it feels longer than my ping. I've not got a measurement on it. I might put some graph... Give you a measurement up on screen. That feels quite long. 114. Ball speed is good. 166. Very, very healthy. Launch angle 13.2. I've got this set in, in 10 degrees. But the spin rate is 2,190 after those five shots. And what I liked about the spin rate is they hardly fluctuated from my highest spin rate at 2,300 to my lowest spin rate at 2,065. Those numbers hardly fluctuated at all. So I didn't get ones that really spun up or ones that dipped even lower than 2,000. If I went up a little bit in the loft to get the launch, I would then sacrifice that spin. That spin would go up a touch. I think that's a really good setting for me to have it in. I could maybe even go down to nine, possibly with this. But I think 10 is the, the right number for this. Carry distance, 288 yards of carry. The longest being 291 and the shortest being 283. So front to back dispersion was really good. I hit those five really nice. I hit them really strong. Total distance, average, 314 average. Now, I've had the Ping G30 in my bag for a while. And those numbers are starting to kind of creep up on that. I might, I might do a little bit of a head head would look, be very interesting as well. 314, the longest being 317, the shortest being 309. Big, big hits. Now, I did shape my shapes from right to left in general. Um, it just, yeah, I can't say much more about it. They've kind of... I don't know whether that great big bertha tag does kind of take me back to having a, the big bertha. I remember having, I remember having the big bertha, and that seemed like a massive head, like a really big head. It wasn't coming back to these days. It's tiny. I'll tell you what would be a great head to head, and it's definitely, definitely one that I can do if I can get hold of one. Is a great big bertha new against the old great big bertha? Yes, that's got to be done. That'd be a great comparison. See what the numbers are like head to head on that. I wonder if they'll bring the biggest Big Bertha out of this. I don't think they can. Obviously, they can't make it any bigger. Um, I don't know if it just rekindles that bit of a, a love affair with the old kind of Big Bertha. It looks the part. I love the comic look at the bottom. And yet, it's still got a bit of a classic look with the engraving and the slidable weights. And yeah, very, very nice products. Very nice driver. Right, should we go Double Black Diamond Alpha 816? Why not? Stay tuned. I'm going to do a review on that. Then I'm going to get a three woods tester as well. I'll put its boxing glove head cover back on. While I'm doing this, please do check out my channel and subscribe by clicking the big link down here in the corner. It's completely free to do. And it keeps you in touch with all the product testing and equipment and tips, everything that I'm doing. Check me out on Facebook, social media, all up along the left-hand side here as well. My left, your right. And we shall see you soon. Hopefully, the very next video, Big, ba big Bertha, double black, Diamond Alpha 816. Don't know if I've got that right. Guys, stay tuned. We shall see you all soon.